Hey guys, my name's Josh and today I'm going to show you how I use EQ to achieve stereo width. So we have this sample here, um, I got this straight off splice and it's a sample of some keys and some bass. So it's printed in the stereo file and I thought it sounded a little bit mono. So I would like to spread it out to the sides a little bit more and make the bass tighter. So this is the sample that I'm going to be working with. Yeah, so pretty cool, like lo-fi kind of slow ballad vibe. But now I'm going to show you how I would make that wider and kind of spread it out a little bit more. So you can use any MS EQ for this. And for this, I should mention that we are using mid side EQ and I'm going to be using FabFilter Pro Q3. The way we perceive width is how much information is on the sides compared to the middle. And we can perceive different frequencies to be wider than others as well. And I found around 1K and upwards, we perceive to be the widest, where if there's bass on the sides, it seems to feel a little bit narrower or a little bit more vague. So in order to make this wider, I'm gonna choose a shelf, put it around 1K, doesn't matter exactly. Um, and do it quite broad. And I'll just, for the sake of this demo, I'll boost it, say, 3 dB on the sides. So go over here and we choose just the sides only. So this is without it. And with. Yeah, so definitely pushed it a little bit out further. Um, I'll show you what it sounds like. I think we could probably go more extreme on it. Uh, so without it. So just makes it feel like it has more space and opens it up quite a lot. If you want to be really fancy, then we can put it on linear phase and that will sound even better. So this is how it was before and I'll flick to linear phase. So don't mind the little click, that's just it flicking over to linear phase. Um, but for me, when I flick that over, I feel the stereo image just sound way more solid and I can pinpoint kind of where the different notes and stuff are way more. And if you want to get really fancy, when you take some low end, especially the subs out of the sides or even mono it, um, it does have a certain sound and will work in certain genres. Yeah, but taking some subs or some low end out of the sides can actually make the sample sound wider as well as the bass sound more tight in the middle. So let me just put the shelf around 200 hertz or something so we can just solo what the low end's like on the sides. And then we can pick a point of how much we actually want to affect. So that sounds quite washy and stuff to me there. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably need to wear headphones. For this example, I'll be quite extreme and drop it 10 dB um, just so you can hear it. This is without it. <laughs> with it. Yeah. 
So listen to the bass just get way more pinpointed and brings it into the center and in focus. Um, for some songs, you probably might want a little bit of low end on the sides just to give it a more washy kind of vague feel. Um, but for lots of pop and hip hop music, the low end straight in the center sounds really good to me. So I'll just show you that once again, listen to the low end and especially the bass, how it just kind of brings, brings it itself into the center and becomes more focused. Pretty cool. Um, and now I actually, I don't normally do this, but I find myself craving some low mids or kind of that like wah sound and the sides just to make it pop and swell around a little bit more. So I think it's probably going to be around like 700 Hertz, maybe a bit lower. Let's try 600 and I'll just boost that up 2 dB, oh, 23 dB, no, 2 dB. But yeah, just because it's a demo, I just want you to be able to hear the effects um, and then you can dial it into what musically sounds good. So this is without that little boost I did to the sides. And then with. So that makes it sound way more like floaty and you can hear the notes clearer. Um, I really like what that's doing. Now I bypass the entire EQ and then I'll flick it on halfway through the sample. And just listen to everything get wider, tighter and clearer. So to me, that just sounds like the bass is kind of sitting in its own space. The notes are kind of floating out either side of it instead of just mush mushing itself all together. I'll show you quickly what a stereo width plugin will do to it just because I know they're very common and lots of people use them. Um, but I'd only use them if you want your mix to sound like shit. No, <laughs> probably shouldn't say that. So I use this JST one. So what this does is it uses phase. Um, so often the more you boost it, the more vague everything can kind of get. Usually I don't like that, but it can suit some genres. So I'll start at zero and then boost the width all the way up so you can kind of hear what it's doing. And then I'll compare the EQ version. <laughs> So for this genre, it actually doesn't sound too bad, which was kind of surprising to me. The bass does get a little bit phasey and not as pinpointed into the center. Um, but I'll just show you quickly the EQ version as well. This will sound clearer and tighter. <laughs> So yeah, sounds kind of out of phase to me now that I listen to it side by side. It might even be a little bit louder or a little bit wider. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. You can use MSEQ to adjust the width of your track and how tight the bass is, especially if you have a stereo file. You could do these techniques on the mix bus or in mastering, but usually you'd probably be a bit more subtle, um, but just use your ears and adjust it to how you like the sound of. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the EQ widening or do you prefer the width plugin widening? Um, for me, the EQ version has its applications and just sounds more tight and controlled. Um, whereas the side width plugins can just sound a little bit phasey and a little bit vague, but it can suit some genres and styles and instruments. 
So let me know in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, like and subscribe because I'll be posting more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. And I don't know what to say, but it is happening. And I don't know what to make, cause it is not only my thing.